What's up guys, this is Rogue Diffuse here coming at you another all watch video. And my mic is in my mom's car, so I'm using this freaking crappy mic again. I'm like trying to stay perfectly still because I don't know if it's actually recording my voice or not because sometimes it glitches out. But um, one of my subscribers asked me, what do I do when I get tilted? And I mean, simple. I mean, I just get off the game, watch me anime, and you know, that's it. I mean, just don't play the game. But um, I'm just in the video here. Um, That's it. He just asked me that and you know, peace. Nah, just kidding. But, um, honestly, what I do when I get tilted, if you're talking about, like, like when I'm tilted, what I do, like, as far as getting mad, well, I'll just get mad. I'll probably be, like, blaming everything, blaming, ev like, I'll be, like, th this is what starts the tilting. Excuses is what starts the first problem of tilting. If you're always going to make an excuse, and, yes, I do make a lot of excuses when I, in my commentary, at least, like, I don't get tilted when I'm, like, I don't really get tilted like that when I'm just playing regularly because I don't have to actually talk and I just shut up and I just play <laughs> Overwatch. When I get mad, I'm just like, you know, whatever. But um, when I'm really making commentary, YouTube video, that makes me mad because I'm trying, like, I'm, like, I have to keep recording it over and over and stuff like that, you know. I don't really record a lot of things over and over, honestly. Like, I like to keep it just raw. Like, like right now, like, if I make a mistake, I just keep talking because I feel like that's what makes... Like, that's that's what makes it, that's just real personality, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just can't have every YouTube video be per perfect. Like, I don't like when somebody has, like, like some certain people's videos start to get old after a while. You're like, why are the videos getting old? Because there's no randomness to it. Like, every video is, like, just the same. Like, you know, same personality, everything. I mean, if you have the same personality, I mean, that makes sense. But, like, as far as, like, no mistakes, no nothing. Like, every video is, like, clean cut, you know? I don't know. That that I guess that that makes sense. But anyway, as far as, I'm off subject. As far as getting tilted, there's three teams that gets me tilted. Lagging in games. As far as a Widowmaker main, um, getting targeted a lot. And what's the other one? When I'm not having consistent games, like I mean, I it's, I don't really need consistent games, but when I'm not doing well, for like a lot of games. And the thing is that. I think that having making a lot of excuses and not actually is taking the problem head on and wondering why why that happened is the main focus. Like when I get when I first the tilting starts is when I start making a lot of excuses. Like say if I'm having bad games, most of the time you should understand that you're not gonna have perfect games all the time. Even if even as even if you're not a Widowmaker main, like you should definitely understand that you're not gonna have good games all the time if you're a Widowmaker main and you want to play Widow. So right off the bat, if you're having a bad game, don't get tilted over that. And if you have like a lot of bad games, definitely don't get tilted over that. One of the main things I do when I get tilted and have bad games, I would just go in training bots and I just try to work on my aim and then I come back and I and sometimes it works. I just come back better, you know. And if I'm playing really bad, I just play in um custom game training bots because I know that I need to get better and I can't allow getting bad games unfortunate games are just not gonna i just i can't allow that to stop me from playing so if you're getting tilted take a break or like well, i don't really take breaks but like when i say i take breaks i usually just go in training bots and i and i still get better you know because when i i mostly the thing that i have that keeps me from getting tilted is i make goals for myself i have to set a goal like when i get on overwatch i say i need to play for six hours because i want to become a good widow maker man and i'm already behind pretty much because i started using widow when she got the buff, I wasn't using her before that, so I need to I need to make sure I get these hours in, you know. So, you know, at least three hours a day, but I try to get in six if I can. So, speaking of six hours, it's four a.m. right now, and I'm making this video, so it's probably gonna come up like like ten a.m. in the morning for you guys. But um, yeah, I just got done playing with a bit. I mean, playing. But anyway, like I have to set a goal for myself. If you're just a casual player and you get tilted. And you don't have any goals for Overwatch, and you just play it for fun. Then just don't play, for, don't play Overwatch. But as far as a player, like I'm pretty sure all the players that even look at how to not get tilted have a certain goal they want to achieve. But you know, if you're a casual player, you're gonna get tilted, and you're gonna get mad, and you're gonna, you're gonna quit the game, and you're just gonna play something else. I mean, if the game's not fun right now, you're raging, then don't play it. But if you know you're gonna come back to this game, and this is the game that you want to get good at, you need to understand how to control your anger and not get mad. I mean, there's always a reason for everything, and like I said, if you're making a lot of excuses, no most of the time you're just going to keep getting madder because you're going to think that everything's, like, not your fault, like, not your fault, because most of the time it is, like, when I get mad in games, it just makes me worse, like, if, have you ever played, have you ever did anything in life and been really angry, and it's just, and it just got worse, and you're like, how is it getting worse, like, how can it get any worse, and it just keeps getting worse, like, like, say if I'm playing 
Oh, why can I get killed by like, like I get, I just, I can't get any kills. And then like, I'm like, oh my gosh, this mercy better not kill me. And then like a mercy kills me. And I'm like, what the freak? Sometimes that, the only reason that happens is because you have no focus. Like when I'm getting mad, like you start to lose focus in actually looking at the site because I have a 60 inch TV and I have to look at the TV a different way. Like some people, some people don't, but the TV is bigger. So the way I aim, I guess it's a tip for you guys. If you have bigger TVs, but the way I aim is I try to look at the reticle and the body at the same time. And it's kind of hard for, for me to do that with a 60 inch TV, but that's my technique. And if I don't do that, if I don't like tell myself consciously to do that, it should become um, a habit later on when I get really used to it. If I don't do that, I will just miss a lot of shots. Like, I will be so bad. Like, most of the times when I'm actually having good games, I'm always doing that. I'm always trying to look at the reticle and the target. Same thing for going for headshots. If you're not actually looking at the head and the reticle at the same time, you're probably going to nip the head. You're probably just going to just miss it, just like just right there. But you have to understand that when you rage and you get mad, you're not focusing on 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 improving. You're just focusing on why you why you on um, why is everything happening to me? Why am I mad? Like, not really why am I mad, but like, why is this game so shitty and all that? But you, you need to just regain focus and think about what's really the problem. Like, what's the problem? Like, once you figure out what the problem is, you need to understand how can I solve it the most effective way. Like, like I said, if you get mad at Overwatch and you, and you just keep getting shitty games, like, if you really want to be good, just keep playing. Just go to training box. You know, you can't let that stop you. And I just take a break, you know. Sometimes I even go, I just go get something to eat and I come back. Like, when I get really mad, I just get off the game. But, like, that happens. Everybody's, it's, everybody's not perfect. But I can tell you that... The people that are the really good at Overwatch are probably just the most consistent and dedicated. Like, they don't let... Like, if you look at all the pro players, such as, like, um, Kefri, um, and all the pro players, they don't get mad. Like, they don't get pissed. Like, like an average casual player be, like, cussing and and get mad and be, like, raging and all that crap. Like, a pro player, like, they... Like, they'll even join a shitty match, go against some people, some, um, toxic players, and they just act like nothing. They'll, they'll just be like, all right, dude, like, whatever. And they're like... Keep going out today because these pro players, the only reason they're pro, I mean, not the only reason, it's all a mental game in a sense. They, you had, you can't be a, you cannot be a really bad rager and become pro. Like, you have your ups and downs in life, but as a pro player, they already been through this. They know that they cannot get mad because they lose focus. You cannot be a McCree main and, or Widow main and just, and be a rager full time every game over just the littlest things because, you will lose focus and play bad, and you need to really work on that. I need to really work on that because when I get mad, I, mean, I don't really get mad as much as I used to, but, like, in commentaries, I like, I get mad a lot. But if you look at Kefri, when he gets mad, he's just like, oh, that's unfortunate, and he just keeps playing. Like, he's like, nothing happened. Like, he just get steamrolled. And I know this guy's thinking, like, I'm I'm Grandmaster, top 500. How am I getting steamrolled? Like, some games you get steamrolled by Masters. Like, and it's just like... Like, you cannot think about, you cannot, like, be, like, you can be confident in yourself, but don't be cocky confident. Don't be like, oh, don't expect, expect the unexpected, you know, and understand how to solve the problem. I guess it's feel like a rambling, but if, if I even looked at Gleevex streams, and he does the same thing. Like, he would even say that's unfortunate when he has bad games. Like, he looks at, um, Kefri for advice, and I, and I would, and I look for Kefri for advice, too, if I, if I was Gleevex, because... You know, Gleevex, Gleevex, he can't look at anybody else really right now except, like, Jinx Tom and some other Widowmakers on YouTube that are on console. So, who is Gleevex going to get his advice from? Carefree, the next best um, one. And then, like, people on console get information from Gleevex. But I've seen Gleevex take notes from Carefree. He does not get mad doing games. Or p well, he gets pissed off, but, like, he doesn't get pissed off. It's like, you can see. Y'all guys may think that Twitch streaming is not that hard and stuff like that, but when you... When you look, if you think about, um, Gleevec, look at the pressure that's on him. He has not, he has to stay focused, understand that people are watching him and have face cam, you know? And get, and take criticism from the comment section and still stay focused. Like, that's what, that's, you guys don't understand, especially doing that for many hours, you know, you have to be in a calm state. And, you know, he is in a calm state focus, so, like, you cannot get tilted. You have to understand why. Like, so I guess... For this video, I guess I say this is like my fourth time doing it. I don't know. I, I think like my my third time I explained it better. But you know, whatever. Um, set goals for yourself. Understand the problem and solve it. And you know, like such as like, oh, let me get on this topic. So, say if I'm getting targeted a lot of games, I have to understand that most of the people that target widows are, just don't like widow. And some people that target widow are really shitty widows. You would, it makes sense, guys. People that don't like widow are are usually bad with widow. 
you know so think about that you know most people that i don't know like i feel like most i guess genji mains would like target widow a lot but like they're probably not give a widow you know a lot of people target widow for a lot of different for, well not really for a lot of different reasons it's really like one or two either they're not good with widow and they think that nobody's good with widow so they pretty much hate widow or they don't like it killed by widow like you know, if you look on the other team people don't if you beat another team with widow like when i destroy a team as a Widowmaker, everybody backs out like but when I get destroyed by like another team um that's counting that's trying to focus me I back out you know they like they are just as upset when they get killed by Widow people get so mad when they lose games to Widow because there's this thing that she's not good on console so you know some people some people just target her because they don't want to be like they don't want to be beat you know and when they get beat they are out of the game like when I beat people that like been trying to target me and they just failed at it they they left like quick or they rage quit you know so you have to understand why people are doing this why are you getting bad games like and stuff like that if you're having a lot of bad games and you and you understand that you can't expect to be a boss yet if you're not patient like i can tell you right now like certain people that are good at um that are good at certain games like and they don't have that many hours they've been playing first person shooters for years like you don't you would never know but and i know some people that have 300 hours of widow and you know, somebody can have 20 hours with them and be better than them. But that's only because the experience cap. And some people just take longer. But the whole point is that you need to understand that improvement will come. And I've seen improvement. Like, I've been impatient. impatient and I've been like, I just want to quit and all that. But, you know, like, when I was doing my video, um, like, where's my shot with Widow? And I was, like, and I was like depressed with the lag and all that. Like, like in, um... Well, you know the video I made with the lag and stuff like that. The lag was going to be a problem and stuff like that. Like, I was like, you know what? I can't let this be a problem. You know, I have, I'll have, i just do training bots. And, you know, I'm still able to make Widowmaker montage and hit clips even though I'm lagging half the day. Because I'm still getting in practice. And when I go in quick play or comp, I can still get good clips. Well, more quick play. But, you know. <laughs> but anyway, um, speaking of comp, I'm trying... I've been playing comp, but the consistency hasn't been good, so I've just been trying to focus, get back in quick play and get my accuracy. I mean, you guys like comp, and I will show you comp. I should do it at least once a week or two times a week, but it's just so annoying to get people, like, like such as, like, hate messages and comp and stuff like that. Like, like I don't feel like reading that. So, yeah, like, if you look at all the successful people in life, they, like, just ignore the critics and all that. People that tell them that they suck and all that and they're not good, like... You can't listen to that because if you if you actually take if you actually give that their opinion like power of you then or like actually like you can't look at it, take it serious you know so you know what else what else I say about getting tilted so pretty much guys the only way to not be if you want to most people that don't want to get tilted you need to set a goal for yourself you need to understand that you can't keep you can't blame everything for for the reason that you're doing bad you know certain things in life just happen like that and like like I said, when you do bad, you tend to do tend to do worse if you keep raging. So you have to understand that you just need to get focused, relax, and if you get getting a bunch of bad games over and over and nothing seems to be working, just go on training bots. And because I've had many times where my shot wasn't right, like I said in the video, and like the next day I was like, man, I'm still suck. And then like the next day I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna give up. And then the next day my shot was great, like like fantastic. Like certain things in life just happen, like they're just trials to see how, like. Like, I, that was really going, like, what religion you believe in. But I believe that in my, certain, as far as my religion, I believe that certain things in life just happen just to test you. Like, you know, certain things are just going to test you to see how far you'll go. Like, see how strong you really are, you know. The next day, you be better than ever. Like, I remember one time where um I did not, like, I chose not to go somewhere. And, like, and like that same day, like I, I should, I felt like I should have went, but I, I was like, I'm gonna stay on Overwatch and I'm gonna keep grinding. And I was like, and at that same day, I figured out something about um, Widow. Like, it's an aim technique that worked for me. Most likely, I have a 60 inch um, TV, and like at this time, like I could not, like, like I would have inconsistent shots, and I still take stupid shots, but like they're not as consistent because of this technique. Well, the way I like to do it is I, I like to look at the integer, like the reticle. Integer that you call that on Black Ops 3 and in Call of Duty, but I look at the reticle and I try to look at the body at the same time. It's kind of like looking, it's not like looking left and right, but I think of it that way. And most of the time, when I have bad games, I'm not looking at the um, reticle and the target because if you want to hit headshots, you have to be looking, which makes it even harder. Look at that flick, I don't even know how I hit that, honestly. But um, you have to be looking at um, you have to be looking at the head and the reticle at the same time, so that takes a lot of focus. So 
what I well, that day I didn't know how to do any of that and I like figured it out I like deciphered it myself how to um play better and after that I was like playing better and I was like